that were still under construction. So um, that's first and foremost. So even what we're building today isn't functioning the way it will when the contractors, Ports and Construction and Tricon Construction, you know, basically turn it over to us, the city. The other issue is we have other phases of the project, uh, mainly the getting the new culverts under the railroad. Essentially, what we're building now is lower than the culverts that go under the railroad. So, you know, it, we're, we're, we don't have the capacity we will in getting stormwater out of this area that, that we will once we get those, you know, main projects underway. And then we have other projects to get water off the street. We have uh, other phases that will take it up 22nd Street. We're putting larger storm sewers under 22nd Street, reduce the amount of water flowing down the street. Uh, we have a 22nd Street. We also have 17th, 17th Street storm sewer improvements. So, again, a lot to come in the next next three three to five years as far as um, you know stormwater improvements and then um, I was also hoping you could talk a little bit about uh, the spillway and how that kind of factored into the most recent uh, rain event that we saw sure so in the past at, at 22nd and Elm um, Prince or Nee Street uh, kind of a unusual intersection there water would pond there I was kind of the local low spot for most of this area along the cooler valley and so when we had these floods water would pond three four feet deep there because the essentially the b brand storm sewer was full so now we we have this this creek there uh and we have this water running down 22nd until we improve those storm sewers so in the interim that water will spill through that area in a designated concrete kind of a stepping area that most people will see so instead of it ripping up you know the embankment along the creek it'll flow safely down that spillway into the into the creek itself. And uh, where are we at right now in terms of um, tunneling under the railroad property and getting those culverts in there? So we've been working with the railroad. Uh, just started, you know, kind of getting into those discussions in in, in more earnest because we had jumped to get this underway. Um, essentially, we hope to wrap things up in the next six months or so, uh, and then, you know, get that would give us the permission to move, you know, build improvements through their property. And we hope to start that maybe next year. Um, but hopefully for sure in the following in 2018. Uh, a lot of things depending on how we can build it, when we can build it, um, but that's kind of our time frame. And it might take a couple years to build that, to, to, to tunnel those new culverts under the railroad tracks. The concern is we're having water issues along the whole 22nd Street corridor from Jackson, from Central down to Elm Street, down to the B Branch. I understand, you know, it's gonna take a little time, but they got to understand too. There's people that are paying a price for this. So what's the situation like now? It's worse than what it was before they put the B branch in. And why do you think that is? Because they don't have a free flow to the basin down there. 